Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Lorenzo. Um, I'm going to be doing a brief overview for the uh, H1N1 viral strain, which is also popularized by the media as the swine flu. All right. This is going to be fairly brief. I'm going to give you the, the cause of it, the mode of treatment, and the adverse effects. So for H1N1 viral strain, uh, basically, uh, it's an implicated in the 2009 flu epidemic among humans, and is often called as a swine flu, as I said before. The outbreak is due to a new strain of H1N1. The new strain is initially described as an apparent, excuse me, reassortment of at least four strains of influenza A virus subtype H1N1, including one strain endemic in humans, one endemic in birds, and two endemic in swine. The transmission to human basically people who work in poultry and swine, especially people with intense exposures, are an increased risk for zoonotic infection with influenza virus. So, um, you're asking yourself, how does this affect me? Alright, so, swine, flu, H1N1 virus are more similar to those of the influenza and of influenza-like illnesses in general. Symptoms include fever, cough, sore throat, um, shortness of breath, body aches, headache, chills, fatigue, diarrhea, and vomiting. The most common cause of death is respiratory failure and pneumonia, leading to sepsis. Fatalities are more likely in young children and in the elderly. And this are, is a compilation of what um, causes the, the kinds of side effects you'll be experiencing if you do have uh, swine flu. Um, you have systemic effects, as fever, nasopharynx effects, you'll have runny nose, sore throat, intestinal effects, you'll have diarrhea, gastric effects, you'll have nausea and vomiting, Respiratory effects, you'll have cough, coughing and shortness of breath. And psychological effects, you'll have lethargy and lack of appetite. So, antiviral drugs can make the illness milder and make the patient feel um, better, better faster. They may also prevent serious flu complications. For the treatment, antiviral drugs work best if started soon after getting sick, within two days of symptoms. We have to note that oseltamivir os and zanamivir are the drug of choice for the treatment and or prevention of infection with 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 swine influenza viruses. However, the majority of people infected with the virus make a full recovery without requiring medical attention or antiviral drugs. The virus isolates in the 2000 outbreak have been found to be resistant to amantadine and rimantadine, which are basically the uh, typical antiviral drugs. So, But the H1N1 strain is susceptible to oseltamivir and zanamivir. Remember that. So that ends the little discussion on H1N1 viral strain. Have a nice day. Cheers.